very important point to discuss today. So uh, yesterday I took four trade. Two trades are running in profit of six approx hundred uh, one twenty dollar and uh, one trade already booked profit of sixty dollar approx. One trade was in loss thirteen dollar. End of trade, which was taken day before yesterday, which is running in profit of twenty four dollar yesterday, is now in loss of nineteen dollar. It's still running. So the point here, which I want to discuss, is little uh, brainstorming. So. what i want to discuss what i want to discuss okay starting with you with ust jpy let's go to ust jpy what has happened here the stock the market we predicted the market will go up yes the market went up with a very very high profit I took we start, uh, we estimate a profit to be 149,534, 149,534, and it crossed that point also. The profit is very high, but still our stop loss was hit. Why? So we started our trading at this point. At this morning start, uh, this range, we can see the support range. At the support range, the market broke the stop. Uh, the range, uh, sorry, at this. Let me rephrase again. The market moved in a predicted way, but our stop loss was hit. Yesterday, what we saw, we saw one resistance area, and the market broke above the resistance area in day before yes, uh, yesterday's learning session. And it came back and tested the resistance area. And we can see a perfect morning star or inside car, uh, inside candle pattern. And it was also taking a uh, support at 21 EMA. So it, it, Answered all our trading rules. We are for following the train. It was a support resistance level. That support resistance level is of is also at 20, 5, 21.51 EMA. And candlestick pattern relates to entry. It was all good. So it took the trade. And we put our stop loss at this level below this candle. But again, after some time, this candle, this hammer candle formed and uh, it hit my stop loss and again went up so i uh, i want to add one more thing about my stop loss in my rule stop loss to be pre previous pre previous support candle what does i mean by pre previous support candle so you can see my last uh this ring support this level but if i go back i can see pre previous this support candle came till this level you can see this level also if i go back it also i can see this is coming at this level this is too low actually So my pre previous candle was this color candle. This was a black candle uh, in a uh, bearish candle which formed below this one. So I have to take this candle as a stop loss. So the, before this, my pre previous uh, bearish candle was this one. So if I've taken this support, my, my uh, can, stop loss would not have been hit. Also, there's one more thing people consider ATR. 
to take the put the stop loss. Okay, so this was the first thing. Second thing, NJ the USD. What we did in NJ the USD yesterday, we didn't see any fresh trade actually. Specific uh, talking, we didn't found any fresh trade, any proper support resistance. Yeah, and JD JPY we uh, said USD JPY we found. Beside that, we didn't found any specific trade. So we took all the trade based on our daily candle. So we took the trade based on our daily candle and we predict uh, based on daily candle. This was uh, stop loss is 60577. Sorry, NJD USD. Sorry, my is NJD USD. NJD USD daily. Yeah, same thing. So six zero with six zero. So we didn't found any. Uh, what can I say? Any new trade, uh, any fresh entry in hourly time frame or uh, hour for six zero five five seven. So at uh, Five nine six one two five nine six one two five nine six one two. At this level, I took my profit. So it was like uh, four hundred three two. I don't know how I think. Once and how did I took the trade yesterday? So as I was saying that yesterday, I didn't found any price entry point in our hourly time frame. So it was all the continuous trade yesterday, new, no new fresh entry. So at hour four, I found one trade in NJT USD with the support of, uh, with the support, I can see the reversal here. So I took this trade with the stop loss of 380 points something and profit of only 500 point. Six, one, two, yep. At this support level, this is major support level which I have just seen. So the uh, risk reward ratio was one is to one point. <laughs> uh, I can say one is to one point five. I think so. We are not a good risk reward ratio, but uh, and it actually it came one is it gave me one is to one is to one is to two, but it. <coughs> So at all, I took the trade and it went down and uh, I hit profit. But this reward is not good. I accept that. And we have to follow trade, not the profit. So the thing which I want to discuss right now is we took the trade on day basis. And JP AUD also in our one, we can see all this uh, this uh, pollution yesterday. So I went to uh, our four, and then the head trade. On day trade, I can see this morning star, and I took this trade with the stop loss of uh, one hundred six dollar, very big figure, and TP of. 208 so so my main issue is should we was my entry correct and you can see my stop loss here i placed here 106 I'm not sure if my strategy was correct or not. I'm in doubt about that right now. I need someone to say to me, no, Asis, you didn't do wrong. 
you were right about this. I don't know what what to say here. The study market moved up and I can't see any support is was in continuing trade. I could not have taken any entry inter point. I couldn't see any entry point at hour one. I could not see any entry point at hour four in yesterday. So was I right on taking a day trade and was am I right with risking uh, so much bigger? How much people did 1982? Nine to the eight, nineteen thirty-eight. It will be around thirty or somewhat here. So, am I right for placing? Am I right in placing? Sorry, the stop loss is approx one twenty-two dollar two hundred sixty-five. So 200, 2000 to 4000 is to reward. 4000 approx is 4000. Am I doing good for one to ratio? 4000 will be here. <clears throat> I need someone to tell me if I did good or right or wrong. It is in profit. What should I do? In coming to GPCAD, it was also a day trade. Let me go to that one. Day before yesterday, we took a day trade with this. Uh, what is what it said? This one this is called double bottom tweezer. Bottom tweezer actually, bottom tweezer. Mm -hmm. Bottom tweezer says that market will still really up. Mm -hmm. So with the loss of uh, 1,000 pips, I mentioned the profit of 2,000 pips. At next support uh, area in day time frame. But when I come to our time frame, it was, it is coming back to loss. I'm facing difficulty to uh, put the stop loss and take profit. My strategy is not. I need some <clears throat> guidance here. <clears throat> so should I stop this GPAUD? If I stop exit right now, then my risk reward is very low. Man, my risk will be around hundred dollar approx one hundred six. My reward is fifty percent of that. My risk reward is uh, zero point five, which is very bad. GPAUD, GPAGD. Oh. I am so tiring. I don't know what to do, what to say, how to how to be here. Okay, have a record. Stop this recording and see the result tomorrow. I'll stay with the same one is to do this right now. And uh, you can see it's still in, it has it has been in range right now. It has been in range right now. So I think it can fall down from here. It can literally fall down from here. 
and uh, <laughs> it will make me cry. It is said that you have to trust to analysis. You have to trust to analysis. And I don't know how much would I trust right now. Okay, that's it.